Also UK culture requires women to work. I believe a lot of bogus jobs created that do not contribute to the economy, to enroll women from overseas who initially cannot read or write any human language. When Saudi Arabians or Somalis migrate to the UK, their men are going to care two hoots if a woman works or not. They may even want to enforce that their women stay at home. But the British want people's private lives, even their romances, to be according to British ways. The woman is equal and works. All modern nations, which have a migration influx, have eliminated the need to have brains in order to get employment, particularly in the case of females. This cannot mean the British and other modern nations would dislike foreign brains. However, in a place where so many lies and created situations pretending to be natural are keeping folks happy, lies cannot live alone. There have to be occasions when you dump rubbish into someone else's yard so yours stays fresh and sparkling. So it is possible if I am a physicist, I can be refused a work permit for other reasons than being of exceptionally low intelligence. None of the countries that have a huge migrant influx are refusing residents or work permits to applicants with an exceptionally low intelligence. There is a misconception among most British people and those outside Britain that if you are refused a work permit in the UK, you must be a bloody moron. The state, certainly this one, has a high trust factor, and the state determines your conscience. People know it is morally right to comment that I am a bloody moron, because that is what I am. If I feel bad about it, it is a remediable problem. Living with low intelligence is seen as my choice, and I am ultimately responsible for my own demise. The attitude I have just described is commonplace. This attitude ensures a happy life in the UK, and getting along with everyone, since all are like-minded. If you happen to be a bona fide moron, your belief system, and that of those around you, which are uniform and compatible, ensure your huge self-esteem. Dullards can live as if they are intelligent in a virtual reality system where there is little variation in beliefs between people, and life never brings any surprises. You are like a blind person who has all the benefits of sighted people except for the gift of eyesight itself. There are help agencies who do everything for you. Helping people with disabilities is according to me a good thing. The bit I consider questionable is the bogus reputation of intelligence enjoyed by dim-witted people. It creates a conflict between real and fake intelligence being in the same place at the same time, competing for the same thing. Perhaps this statement is unclear, but I want to stop the discussion right there. A dim-witted person wearing a mask has lovers and patrons to enact violence on others to restore their injured egos, since they are somebody with a false reputation to live up to. Some people such as myself see having zero humility or being unable to face up to stark facts as being lowly and antisocial, but zero humility is the recommended path for females in the UK, particularly the stupid ones. Ones that have not fully sucked up the doctrines of equality and diversity may actually be nicer. And how does a bloody moron become a smart person? This according to British people, can be achieved by having these intimate sessions with a mental health service. As someone who describes everything by the majority or most common use, I tend to describe mental health workers, irrespective of race or country as someone with female genitalia, who is heavily endowed with female mental deficit. The second qualifier, female mental deficit, meets with opposition, because it contradicts the mental health logo which is that this profession, staffed with mainly female genitalia persons, can solve every problem on this planet of persons with female genitalia. Go ahead and correct my poor English. Like a holy cow, mental health workers, who are persons of no standing, claim they can do everything. Primitive individuals, lacking verbal comprehension, who can heal your mental health, increase your intelligence give you motivation. The list of superpowers is endless. 9817